Moment of truth, can I do this in 30 seconds? And go. Okay, four seconds in, we're moving pretty fast. Speedometer's looking good. Things are catching up. Oh, we're already at 13 seconds, okay. Ooh, 20 seconds, uh, 19, 20. Oh boy, we'll make it, we got 10 more seconds. Come on, come on. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin, and today we are building an ice road. If you didn't catch last episode, we went ahead and got another beacon that is currently over there because I did a live stream in between episodes where I'm still continuing on the bay. But today's ice road will be kind of a combination of a way to get to spawn quicker and just another somewhat vanity project. And by that, I mean, I have the current bridge that I still need to finish that's attached to my railway down here. But getting to and from the iron farm uh, is getting annoying now because all I have is this pathway heading there and you know, it gets pretty tedious after a while. Now, luckily I seem to have left myself a stack of planks here to make a boat, but we also have a ice spikes biome that's relatively close so I can get that sweet, sweet packed blue ice. So I'm gonna go ahead and start harvesting these icebergs and I'll take the boat back. Well, mm, yeah, no, I'll take the boat back to bring this lovely packed ice. And I think packed ice is the one that doesn't melt, right? This is packed ice. Oh my goodness. This is gonna go quick. Yeah, this is packed ice. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, I didn't want to have to do this, but I knew this would be a thing. Hey, look, the polar bear is on fire. Kind of like real life. <laughs> Sorry, baby polar bear. You get to live. But your mother attacked me. That should be enough. I think, let's see, this is about 1,700 blocks. Uh, and I need to do that by two. So this should be enough to have a two wide highway all the way down to spawn. Man, I really need to finish this bridge. <laughs> yeah, see this? This speed is why I'm building the ice highway. <laughs> Going back and forth, and the horse is even slower. <laughs> I know I could get a faster horse, but I mean, let's be real. This is gonna be the fastest route. And I think the ice road is actually going to go in between these two islands. But in order to get to the starting point, we have to go up through the river around. And now you can see why I'm building this ice road. Bob, still out here. So you haven't died yet. It's good, stay alive. Stay well. Now the starting point of the ice road is actually going to be right back here because it is directly above where uh, spawn is. So to get things going, I think I'm just going to go a few blocks up. Maybe, let's see. I want to be able to drive a boat uh, under it. Actually, we can just do our ice road like on this level right here. So I've actually decided to put the ice road up here a little bit just so I can clear some things. And so I'm not, you know, building entirely on like a bridge. Well, actually, wait, now that would make me build a bridge if I did it up here. Ah, whatever. I'll figure it out. So far, so good. Just running here, placing down the ice. I don't think it will be that bad of a build, honestly, because most of this is on, uh, what's it called? <laughs> most of this is on land, which is good because I won't have to build a bridge or a big bridge. And that saves me a lot of materials, which I was originally going to do a skylight, but eh, or not a skylight, a skyway. But that would take a lot of materials and a lot more time. Get a quick test run done here. Oh boy, yeah, this is fast. I like this. 
I'm gonna have to, you know, put like bumpers or something on the side of this so I can stay straight, but that is good. And get all this junk out of here. I already have way too much dirt, but yeah, that's, that's gonna be nice. It's gonna cut travel time in like half. Which, I mean, obviously is the goal of this project. What are you doing in my boat? Get out. Come here. Get out. My boat. There we go. Well, we've made it to the ocean, which is good. Uh, I don't know which is going to be worse. This upcoming section that we have to do or this section. This was pretty annoying, but now look at this. We can just pew, can be all zoomy like meow. <laughs> but look how much faster this is than just walking now definitely we'll have to put like rails of sorts on the side so that i don't fall off and i'll need a backstop right there but look at that it's so much quicker than everything else and i have so much junk here that i'll have to make another What's it called? Chest. This is good. But jeez. A lot of materials. That's uh there we go. A lot of materials. But the payoff will be huge for travel saving travel time savings. There's that, there's that. And just a bunch of crap. Look at this watch ready. I get in here. All garbage I don't need. Now, the cobblestone will come in handy. But the dirt, I have way too much of that. And everything else. Hey. <laughs> Launch control engaged. Pew. <laughs> I am having a lot of fun with that. Oh, my. <laughs> Dang it. I really need to not derail myself. Come on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Pig! And thus begins the annoyingly slow portion of this. Good to see Bob still out there doing well. Hi, Bob. Almost made it to land, but now I gotta get home because the stupid phantoms come out at night because I forgot a bed. But look how fast I'm able to move on here. It's a little hard with the boat controls, but you know, once you get a little groove of, ah, okay. <laughs> once you get a little groove of the controls, it works really well. And like, look at this, I can, uh, pretty much get all the way home in less than a minute. Ah, if I could drive better. Okay, that's enough out of you. Look at that. Right back home where we belong. Which actually, that's good timing too because I need food. <laughs> Since we made it this far, I've set up a little checkpoint. Um, I'm completely out of ice. But that's okay because I can go back, grab some more, and then continue on. And then... It does, now I don't have to go all the way back here because, you know, it doesn't make sense to keep wasting time going back and forth in between these two areas. Oh! Well, I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. Dang it, I lost control. <laughs> I fell off the edge, which is why I'm definitely going to need to make a uh, containment system. And then I guess I'll work on this part right here and make it an actual bridge as well. But that'll come later. I can do that off camera mostly. But then again, look at my other bridge. <laughs> so I think because if I keep going, I'm going to hit uh, that. I'm going to just put a stop right here. And then continue on later. And then I can just, you know, build like a little sediment around here because that's not too far. That's like a quick hop, skip, and a jump over. Plus, I can, you know, usually I can build bigger things here. Actually, yeah, let's go to spawn. Well, it took about two hours real time, but we finally have a connecting road all the way from the spawn island, well, spawn peninsula, I guess, to Riverton. Now I just need to fix all this and make it look nice. And then we can, well, we'll have a fully functioning thing. Okay, I really got to get these rails on. For now, I'm just going to worry about getting the slabs and bumpers on because I can fill out the rest of everything later when we have uh, more time because this has taken like half a day and I still have two more videos to record. So I'll get this bumper working and then 
I'll come up with a design for the bridge and then we'll just you know fill it out as we go along so we've got this whole section to the end done and we've got all that to cover but I just want to see what the difference is when we have bumpers oh yeah this is nice look at that just move nice and freely and quickly I think this might be a little faster than elytra and I know there's a few different ways that you can make this faster like I think you can put like soul sand and um spider webs under it but I think this is just fine for what we have or what we need uh, put on the brakes there we go hopefully I can make it under 30 seconds or in 30 seconds but we'll see I've got a timer right here and we're going to see how fast this is uh stopwatch reset initiating launch sequence backing up boat <laughs> squaring boat away okay i'm spinning i'm spinning moment of truth can i do this in 30 seconds and go okay four seconds in we're moving pretty fast speedometer is looking good things are catching up oh we're already at 13 seconds okay Ooh, 20 seconds uh 19 20 oh boy will we make it we got 10 more seconds come on come on come on come on four seconds three two one no we didn't make it <laughs> well i wish i could complain but i mean come on a six minute trip is now 40 seconds that's not too shabby and if i add the speed improvements to this it'll look a lot better actually let's see because i'm at 17 seconds right now 20. i don't know i think it's just too long let's see 25 4 3 2 1 ah yeah it's got about like 10 seconds but now we have a lovely method of getting to and from spawn and we have just made every other form of transport in my world obsolete with this and the good thing is too is we also have i think they're up here we also have some ice oh i was trying to get the chest <laughs> the good thing too uh, before i got distracted was that we also have some of this ice left over which means we can do another ice road somewhere but I'm not sure where we need it right now. Uh, the most I can think of is out to the oil rig. Maybe, but I don't know. I just can't get over how fast this thing moves. I mean, look at it. Whoop. It's like an actual bullet train. I wish mine carts went this fast. Bob, hello. Things I want to experiment with real quick are, or is what I can do for like stations if i want something to stop like say i want to stop at this bed uh and not get stuck on one side of the track hello let me in <laughs> say i want to stop at this um track but i don't want to you know like make like a huge like break in the track could i possibly now this is just for uh explorative purposes let's see what is something that I could use to slow down, but not like, you know, completely stop. Like slow down enough to where I can stop easily, but also if I'm going like through here, you know, it slows down and then it's not like something like that. Like it's not like, a, like it stops my boat. So you could see that right there, it worked pretty well. But how does it fare if I'm going like full speed on the like bullet train track thing? I know we'll have to name this. Let's see. Okay, here it comes coming up. How do I fare? Oh, perfect. And then it stops. And then by the time I get back on, I can pick speed up. Oh, that's perfect. Yep. I think in the near future, I'm going to have to convert Grand Central Station into a nice road 
Because, I mean, just look how fast you can move through here. Now, of course, I could just try and hit S on my keyboard while I'm going because it does slow you down. But look how long it takes. I have to get good at the timing on that. But with this, if I get, like, cooking, like, let's, let's really try and get cooking here. If I get up to speed, like, this looks like, yeah, this is, this is full speed. Look how slow, hi, Bob. <laughs> But this is full speed. Let's see what happens after I've had, you know, a long time. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that. Okay, so all I got to do is that. And don't worry, I'm going to make it look nicer. While we're right here, I'm going to start with just doing the basic bridge decoration. I think I'll just use cobblestone, honestly. I mean, it's what I used here. So why not use it? Oh, oh I left my stone cutter. Never mind. It was in my inventory. <laughs> oh, but I did leave my bed. So I'm going to do a little mock-up of this first stretch of bridge, and then we will switch gears or call it a day, depending on the running length of the episode. Now, for pylon design, I'm thinking something simple like this, and then going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So every 10th block. Yeah, so there should be 10 in between, and... Then doing that, and then something like this, and then in the water, same thing, but just with cobblestone up until the water line. Yeah, I'm thinking something like that. I think that'll look nice. And it'll, it's weirdly less intensive on resources. My logic behind doing this section first is just that, you know, I'm here, so I'm going to see it. So, oh, if I want to do this section, then I don't have to look at the eyesore every time. And then lighting here, I'm just going to match up with the pylons. Oh, if I could see. Oh, there's one right here. How do I mark that? Little fun fact right here. This marks 170 blocks. Well, plus, you know, the ones in between. But this is about 170 blocks out. Let's see how quick we can do... 170 blocks. Okay, I've got the start. Uh, the, I have the stopwatch here. Let's see. Go. Okay. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty quick. Stop. Okay, so we did. We went 170 blocks in about six seconds. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow, this is just so slow compared to the ice road. <laughs> I mean, granted, I don't have that many speed tracks on here, but. Even then, the ice road is just so much better. So I figured with the time we have left, we could go ahead and do some quality uh, updates to the village and kind of make things, you know, add little details here and there, add things uh, to make them look nice, you know, get things in order, just things that I kind of have been meaning to do, but haven't done for a bit. Like, for example, this path right here. Uh, it doesn't take much long or that long, but I still haven't been able to do it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Now, first up, I do want to take care of this beacon because, well, it's been kind of annoying and I don't really need it anymore. We're at like the last section, so really I just have to grind out one afternoon and then we can, you know, fill in the bay here. So I don't really need that beacon. Plus, it didn't help. So let's restore the beacon real fast in the main village center. Oh, hey, look at that. I was just messing around getting some of these uh, resources and I came across these guys. How about you? These guys don't scare me anymore now that we get bad omen and bottles. Speaking of which, I do need to do a raid farm. That would, that would be nice, a raid farm. Maybe I'll do that one of these episodes, but just been Doing, getting some tool repair, getting some free coal while I can. I mean, I'm going to pick it up either way, but right now this is fine. Now that we've got the beacon back up and running, I think it'll be good to build a few little houses, just small ones, um, to continue expanding our village even more. So this isn't going to be a full building episode, but... Just going to do some, like, basic villager living over by the new villager town, or the new villager center, like, right here, so that we have some variation. Ah, oh, dang it. 
so that we have some variation in buildings around this area because right now they're all just stone now i'm i am like uh, uh. now i am thinking very like small uh, small houses almost the size of greg's house just so that we have you know some variation some uh just some texture because this is a weird least this is a weirdly sized lot so i'm trying i need to figure out what to do with it first i'm going to go ahead and plan these uh roads Let's see there we go and i think i'm just gonna have something simple go through here something that follows the fence loosely and also connects the villagers to kind of a diagonal path from here kind of an alternative to taking that route basically is what i'm trying to say okay so house number one is framed right here just a small little simple thing Moving on to the next one. I'm going to try and squeeze two right here, but I'm not sure if I can. This corner is a little awkward, but I don't know. I'll see if I can figure it out. House number two is up in frame. This is just a little simple, weird shape that's going to have a little porch right here. And yeah, that's about it. I'm going to try and fit one more house right here. Hopefully, we can make something work. I think I'll do a little little tiny house okay now i decided to get a little crazy with this house and add an upstairs so that all three of these roofs weren't touching i'm kind of enjoying this part right here which is just you know a small little build project oh okay well i guess i don't need to put that there but this is a nice little build you know nothing too crazy nothing too demanding a good little change of pace but i'm gonna wrap these up pretty quickly here um well because you know they're pretty easy i'm not gonna linger on them so i'll just give you updates as i finish and then we can go ahead and wrap up today's video now here i actually want to do something unique well not unique but new that i haven't done not for a while but well i haven't ever done it i have not Wait, no, now I'm confusing myself. Basically, all I wanted to do was this. I, I don't know why that was so hard for me to articulate. Just add a little space for, you know, the stairs, or to go down the stairs without bonking your head right here. <laughs> Sometimes I have trouble articulating myself, and then other times, well, you know. All right, for this middle house, I think I'm actually going to go with a granite roof. I haven't done one of these, well, really ever in this village. I think there's one granite roof somewhere around here, but honestly, I think it's a underrated roofing material. It kind of, especially with these colors, it kind of looks like one of those almost like Spanish houses, if that makes sense. It probably does, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a good color. I like it. Let's see if I can, if I remembered to bring my scaffolding, this would be a lot easier. But alas, with Beanin, there is no easy building. <laughs> I mean, there is, but eh. Next episode, I think we're going to... I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna... I feel like I'm just gonna adventure. Maybe go check out the Badlands biomes, see what I can find down south. Now that we have our little road. Although, or our ice road, although... That'll only get me halfway. And no, I'm not going to build an ice road all the way out there. But there's some areas in this world I haven't, like, looked at yet. So I'm excited to see, you know, what those all turn out to be. So this one right here is a little interesting. Because it's a question of, hmm, what should I do? But really, I think I'm just going to wrap this lower one around here. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap this lower one around here. See how it kind of corners out right here? And then just do one of these, like so. Because then it's eliminating, you know, what should I do with this to make it look good and stuff like that. That was not a complete thought, really. But you know what I mean. <laughs> it's eliminating another step. And it's, I mean, honestly, it doesn't look that bad. This is a small-scale house, so it's not, you know, supposed to look amazing. But I do want it to look somewhat good because it is right outside. It is right outside of my window, and 
you know, I do want the village to look good overall as well. Plus, doing a roof like this also gives me a chance to get rid of the granite that, you know, I never use. Actually, I think they, oh, I remember where the one granite thing is. It's over there. It's the villager houses we built last time for the final, not final, just small improvements. I forget what episode it was, but yeah, that one. But yeah, this gives me an opportunity to get rid of these. Honestly, the more I look at this, the more I think that the granite looks like ground beef. <laughs> it just looks like stairs of ground beef, which I don't know how to feel about that. Get back here. Pretty soon we'll be fighting the Ender Dragon as well. This is what, episode 87? Okay, weirdly enough, I think this little house right here should have a dark oak roof. I don't know why. Something was just telling me do dark oak. I mean, this this is literally just going to be a hovel for a villager. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I wouldn't even call this a house. Honestly, I could probably make this area look a lot better if I just put a different, uh, uh, like a tree or something here. But, eh. Too, too predictable. Can't let anyone know your next move. Nah. I just want to get more villager uh, living space in the village. So, filling up lots like this is an easy task that I can do when I fi finish my main task earlier in the video than I had planned. <laughs> and that's definitely what happened here. I hope you all know that. For the final roof, I'm just going to go the trusty old deep slate tile approach. I don't need to do too much uh, in one square. Let's see. Ooh. That... Mm. I was gonna say this this one right here has a lot of weird roof shapes, but I kind of like it. You know, it's quirky for the sake of being quirky. You know, I am I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm decently burnt out today. This video, while it may not be that much on screen, it ended up taking all day to record, mainly just because I had to work so hard for the stupid ice highway. And yes, I'm already calling it stupid, but I do love it. It'll, it'll come in handy uh, late game. I know that for a fact, but today I was just like, well, got to bite the bullet on this task. Let's see. Oh, that fixed that. And then luckily these are all really small roofs. So I don't have to worry about, uh, here's another big task. I don't know. And, you know, spent a whole day on one video and it's probably going to get like, I don't know, 20 views. <laughs> I think I've been sabotaging my own videos recently uh, by announcing them on different social medias. So I might cut back on that. All right, now throw in the windows because everything else is pretty much done on here. I think, yeah, we'll just need doors and this will just need to be, I can make this an upside down stair. Just need doors. I'm going to use green stained glass on this. A, because I don't want to use all of my clear glass on just like some basic villager housing. And B, uh, I'm too lazy to make <laughs> the clear glass. I know it takes like two seconds, but it's going to... Yeah. <laughs> I just don't feel like it. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> Okay. Boom. Uh, boom. And oh yeah, the really puny one. <laughs> and boom. Okay. Well, you know, for tiny houses, these are not that bad. Like, I like them. I mean, they serve the purpose. They're just villager houses. They're not the main focus of today's video. I just wanted to, you know, build some smaller houses out here while I could. And then, let's see, I should, ooh, I should go get the sheep and make beds for these houses as well. And these. I need to make that for those too. But yeah, that's not that bad. We'll put the beds in here, get some light in there so there's no, like, zombies or anything. And then we'll wrap it up for today. Go put one bed in here. For now, each of these houses will just have one villager. I don't need any other ones. And let's light up this front side. It's a little dark over here. 
put a villager bed up in here. This villager is going to be living in style. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, anything that's not one of the standard trading halls a villagers a villagers living in style. <laughs> Me, I like to I like to keep my villagers well well uh, accommodated. Now, of course, there's still villager social classes, but you know that's a given. <laughs> But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It might be a little shorter than usual. I've still been trying to get more concise without, you know, having a bunch of filler in my videos. So it might be a little shorter. And if it is, sorry, I, I've, I'm i trying my best. I'm trying to figure out what's new because clearly my videos aren't working right now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we'll go on an adventure and we'll check out some new landscapes that we haven't seen yet because we haven't done much adventuring in this world. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with streams and random videos in between. Until next time, this has been Back to the Bay Today's. I'm Beanin. Peace.